In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to set a pin on your Chromebook so that when you turn it on, instead of having to type your entire password, you can just type a simple six digit pin. All you need to do is open up the settings app. So there you could use the app launcher, but the easiest option is to click on the time in the bottom right hand corner down here to pull up this menu here and then click on this little settings icon down here. And that will open up the settings app here. And now in the settings app, you'll need to click on privacy and security in this left hand side menu here. And then across in the privacy and security menu, you need to click on lock screen and sign in. So click that. And now it'll ask you to type your password. So this is just the password you use to sign into your Chromebook right now, just to prove it's definitely you changing these security settings. So go ahead and type your normal password. And now once you're in here, you should see down here, sign in options, and there'll be an option of pin. So assuming you haven't set up a pin yet, there'll be a button next to it that says set up here. So we'll need to go ahead and click that set up button there. And now you'll get to choose your pin. So go ahead and type any six digit pin you like with the numbers. You can type with the numbers on your keyboard or you can click each number like that if you want to. And your pin can be longer than six digits, but it has to be at least six digits. So most people will probably just go with six digits, but type whatever pin you like. To me, it's actually just going to use one, two, three, four, five, six to keep things simple, but that's really not very secure. You should choose a better pin than that. And then it even says here, pin may be easy to guess. So it's telling you this isn't a very secure pin, but that's okay for this demonstration. Then once you've typed that in, go ahead and click continue here. And now you just need to type that same pin again, just to confirm you typed it right the first time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll click confirm again. And now the pin is set. So you're pretty much done, but you might want to look at this setting here that says unlock automatically once pin is entered. And this is turned on already, but you could turn it off or you could turn it on and then you even have to enter your pin and click confirm there to turn it back on. And what this means is when the lock screen pulls up, if this setting is turned off, you'll type in your pin and then you'll have to press enter. But if you have this setting turned on, as soon as you've finished typing the last number of your pin, it'll just automatically unlock and go straight in. So, you probably want to have this turned on. It's just easier that way. But if you want it to be very slightly more secure, you could turn it off. And you can also click this button in here to change the pin if you ever want to change it in the future. And you can click the three dots here and remove the pin if you don't want it there anymore. But now you've done all the setup. So you can go ahead and close the settings app. And now the pin is set up on your Chromebook. So if we come down here and click here and click sign out there to sign out of the Chromebook and go back to the login screen that you would normally see when you turn it on, we will now see a spot to enter your pin instead of password. So because we have it set to automatically unlock after the pin is entered, it actually shows these lines. So it's kind of giving away how many numbers your pin is, but it's probably six anyway. So that's pretty cool. If you had that switch turned off, then it would just be a box that looks like your password. But either way, it also has these numbers here. So if you're using a touch screen, you can tap these numbers or you could click these numbers or you can just type the numbers on your keyboard with the number of keys. And then all you have to do is type one, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever your pin is. And then it will immediately open up your Chromebook and you can reopen all your apps and everything like that. There is also this option down here to switch to password. 
So if for some reason you don't want to type in your PIN this specific time, you can click switch to password and then you'll be typing your password like normal and you can switch back to PIN. So if you ever need to, you can, but typing a PIN is a lot more convenient. So once you have this set up, you'll probably always just type the PIN. But that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and Tamil will see you in the next one.